guacamole. Um, a lot of people think it's really complicated, but it's really not, and it's a great thing to have at any party or just really any kind of get-together. So there really are only a few ingredients. The first one is avocado, and then your three main seasonings are lemon, salt, and pepper. And sometimes I like to add hot sauce in, but it really depends. And then the last three ingredients are onion, garlic, and tomato. So the first thing you do when starting is you need to get an avocado and you want to make sure that it's ripe so they usually start to turn like a brownish black and not green because when they're green it's a little bit hard to cut them and they're not going to be soft enough to actually make the guacamole. So the first thing you do is you cut your avocado open and you have to remember that there is a pit in the middle so you can't just cut directly through it. So you want to cut all the way around it and then if it's soft enough you can usually just twist it apart and it comes right open. And to get the pit out in the middle, some people, you can usually smack your knife into it and then pop it right out, but my knife isn't big enough. So I'm just going to kind of cut around it a little bit and loosen it up, and then you can pop it out with a spoon usually. So you just can pop it right out usually, and it'll come right out. So there we go. Um, so now that that's out, a lot of people like to throw the pit away and they don't keep it, but if you do keep it and you put it in your avocado, it actually can keep it fresher and from turning brown quickly. So I like to keep mine and put it in the guacamole when I'm done. So the next thing is you need to scoop your avocado out and put it into the bowl. So there are a bunch of different ways to do this, but I like to cut directly down it. So I cut vertically first, and then I cut it horizontally so it looks like a checkerboard. And once you do that, it's really easy to just scoop it all out so it comes out in perfect little pieces. So you just want to scoop that right out, and you want to make sure that you get all of it. So once it's all out, you put it in the bowl. And normally I would use four avocados, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to show you with just one half. So after you add the avocado in, I like to do my main seasonings next so that um, you can get liquidy before I add everything else in there and you want it to be softer. So the next thing that I like to do is cut up my lemon. And some people use limes. I like to use lemons just because I like the flavor better and I think it works better with my recipe. Um, I use a whole lemon and I like to use the fresh lemon. So after you cut it, you just squeeze it in there. And I like to use one whole lemon with my recipe. <coughs> so after you have the lemon in, the next two ingredients that I like to use are just a plain old regular salt and pepper. So my recipe calls for um, exactly one teaspoon of both salt and pepper. So, you the salt here and you just dump that right in. Then you do the same with the pepper. So after you add both of those in, that's when I would add my hot sauce if I wanted to add that. And I kind of just estimate it. It really depends how spicy you want, but I'm not going to put that in because it really depends how everybody wants it. After I put my three main seasonings in, that's when I'm going to add in the rest of the main ingredients. So the next ingredient that I like to put in is onion. Um, the thing with, um, with uh, guacamole is that it really depends on personal preference what ingredients you like to put in it. And so personally, I like onions, but if you don't, you don't have to add that in. It really depends. The main part of it really just is the avocado. So that's the most important part. And the rest of it's kind of up to personal opinion. Um, so what I do is I cut it right down the middle. And you can also have the store-bought onions, which I have right there. So you can add that in as well. So the onion's a little bit hard today, so since it's not really, since it's a little bit too hard, I'll probably just use the store-bought onions, which work exactly the same, everything is fine with it. Sorry, my hands are a little bit oh, Okay, so once you have that in, you want to measure about one tablespoon of the onions. Alright, you put three in for this recipe, so I'm going to put all three of those in right now. And if you had the actual onion, you would use probably about half of the onion. So after that, I would add in my garlic, and this is what it looks like if you buy it fresh from the store, but you can also get the pre-bought one. I think that's a lot easier to use. So with everything, it really depends on how fresh you want it to be, or if you just want to make it a little bit easier for yourself. Um, and it really all does taste pretty much the same. So when chopping up the garlic, you want to make sure that it's really small, because otherwise you're going to have big chunks of garlic in there. 
So you just want to make sure that you slice them really thin before you put them in. And then sometimes I even like to go back across it the other way to make sure that it's small enough because I'm not the biggest fan of garlic. And I like the flavor, but I don't like when I get big ch chunks of it in there. So then you just slide it in. And normally I'd add more, but this is just time. This is the last thing I do. And so once I'm done with all that, the last thing I like to add in is tomato. And that really also is a personal preference. A lot of people don't like tomato in it because some people think that the flavors don't go well together. But I like tomato, so I like to add that in. And when I put my tomato in, I don't like to have all the seeds that are watery inside, so I just cut out the inside of the tomato so that it's not really liquidy and it doesn't make the guacamole all liquidy. And then once you've cut it out, you can just slice it down this way. And I keep the top part intact so that when I slice across the other way, it'll be smaller. So if you keep that intact, you can just cut them all at the exact same time. And that's what I do with the onion also. So you can just slide them right in like that. And I put the um, tomato in last so that doesn't change the color of the guacamole. And you still have that nice green color. So once it's done, you pretty much just mix it all around. And that's really it. And it's a great recipe because you don't have to cook anything. You don't have to bake anything. And it really doesn't take very long at all. So you just put your main ingredients, which is the avocado is the most important. And then you add in your three seasonings, which is the lemon, the salt, and the pepper. And then the next three is the onion, the garlic, and the tomato. So it's really all comes down to it. Thank you.